and gentlemen, welcome to a bonus episode um, of the Clear Vision Podcast. I'm so excited to be recording this. Uh, I hope that uh, uh, this video is finding you well, wherever you may be. Uh, grace, peace, and blessings be to you uh, and yours uh, as you're listening to this. Um, I kind of just want to jump right into this. As you can tell by the title, this is a bonus episode to the one we did last Wednesday or was it Thursday? One of the two. Um, when we talked about, are you living holy? And, um, this is a bonus EP cause I felt like the Lord just popped this in my spirit as I was traveling back from Houston last night. And, uh, you know, I kind of just want to talk about, uh, this side of it as well. Um, because when you are living holy, you cannot consider your feelings. You just can't. Um, and so, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and jump right into this right here that our, our God is so good that he gives us choice after everything that he's done for us, <laughs> whether, and this is for everybody, whether you're not even in the faith, you're thinking about it, you're on the fence, you left and you're trying to come back or you left for what, whatever. After all the Lord has done for you, he gave, he's giving you the choice to serve him. It's not even a, uh, um, he's not making it a non-negotiable to serve him after he did everything that he's done for you. You have a choice to serve him. And every day you wake up, you have a choice to serve him. And I think God is so great. He's just such a gracious God that even after everything he's done, he has given us choice to serve him. And in that choice, if we choose to serve him, we have a choice to be holy or not. We have a choice to serve him or not. We, we, we get to choose that. But, but one of the things that I think um, uh, hinders that choice is our feelings. I think I think our, our our feelings get us all messed up because we wake up and we say, oh, I don't feel like reading my Bible today <laughs> or I don't feel like praying. I don't feel like going to church. I don't feel like doing all these things. I would much rather do this. And your feelings are a detriment to what God wants to do in your life. That's why. That that's why we're in the mess we're in now. Because of your feelings, your feelings cannot overtake your faith. Your feelings must be in submission to the one that gave them to you. <laughs> your feelings must submit to the one that gave them to you. Trust and believe he gave them to you for a reason. Human emotion is, 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 a, is a good thing to have. But when it triumphs your faith, that's a problem. When you feel like God hadn't answered your prayer or you feel like God has left you or you feel like or you feel this, you feel that that is a detriment to what God wants to do in your life. Because living holy and feelings can't mix. There has to be a choice made because nine times out of ten, we feel like doing the opposite of what we really should be doing. <laughs> and after all that, the Lord still gives you a choice. So my question today in this short bonus EP is, are you choosing your faith or are you choosing your feelings? Because if you choose your feelings, you might feel like drinking. <laughs> you might feel like wearing that crystal this morning. You, you might feel like watching, you might feel like doing all these other things, but is that going to try up the faith and the truth of God's word and who God is? There's got to be a choice made. A decision has to be made daily. And even within a daily wide scope decision, there are many minor decisions that you have to make 
toward our end goal, which is we are trying to live holy. Are we going to mess up? Of course we are. We're human. We're not perfect. But the end goal is you must be holy for he is holy. He's not asking you. <laughs> if you choose to live this way, he is requiring you to live holy for he's holy. And we read that last week. He is requiring you to live holy. Why? Who are you representing? When you were in the world, you were representing worldly behavior. Now that you have been in, or now that you're in the kingdom, you are now representing kingdom behavior. And what is the very first thing, in my opinion, living holy? <laughs> God is so good, man. Why? Feelings represent you. His holiness represents him. You ought to tweet that. Your feelings represent you. You, what you want to do. Your, your, your fleshly desire, what you want to do, what you think is right. His holiness represents him and what he knows is right. And it all goes back to this thing of choice. Because we have we now have to choose to put down the bottle, to put down the cards and the crystals and all that stuff to stop worshiping earth. We got to put down pornography. We got to put we have to put this stuff down. And we have to submit it under the truth of who Jesus is. And all of that is a choice. Let me read this to you. I got Bible for you. Joshua 24, 14. We'll start at 14 and then we'll go to 15. And then we'll wrap up because I don't want to make this too long. So fear the Lord and serve him wholeheartedly. Stop. What does fear mean? Again, we talked about this. I think it was last week or the week before. Fear means just reverence, respect, and honor. So fear him means to revere him. That means we are putting him on the pedestal of our heart and nothing else is going to be there. Again, that is a choice. If you choose to live this way, you must do these things. It's not an ask. <laughs> like, like it, it, it's not, okay, if you feel like doing it today, then, then fear him. No, it's so fear him, <laughs> period, and, and serve him wholeheartedly, period. There is no additive with your feelings right there. There's no additive right there. Put away forever the idols your ancestors worshipped when they lived beyond the Euphrates River and in Egypt. Serve the Lord alone. Stop. Before he goes to the next verse, it's crucial that he put that right there. The writer of Joshua put that right there for a reason. Serve the Lord alone, period. <laughs> Again, that is a choice, and we see that in verse 15. But if you refuse to serve the Lord, then choose today whom you will serve. Would you prefer the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates, or will it be the gods of the Amorites who's, in whose land you now live? But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Stop. So they made a conscious decision, but as for me, I don't care what you're doing. <laughs> Whether you feel whether you feel like serving him or not, that's not going to change me. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Let's go back to the top of verse 15. But if you refuse to serve the Lord, then choose today whom you will serve. It all goes back to a choice. Are you choosing your feelings or are you choosing the truth of God's word? Period. There is no there is no both and. <laughs> You can't have your feelings and faith at the same time. You can't trust your feelings and trust your faith at the same time. It's got to be one or the other, not both and. Because your feelings will lead you to your fleshly desires and your fleshly desires will lead you to sin. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a trickle down effect. But if you choose to serve the Lord, his holiness is first and no other. And I'm, I, I've become so big on this topic of holiness ever since he challenged me 
to start living holy for him. Ever, ever, ever since that day, I've never been the same. Why? Because his holiness is first. Once you get into the kingdom, live holy. <laughs> Be holy for I am holy. Who are you representing? And I refuse now to put out a to put out or to represent the 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 kingdom that I'm representing. I'm waving this flag. I refuse to represent it wrong. I refuse. The stuff that I used to do can no longer I can no longer do it. Why? Because I'm representing a different brand. <laughs> Let's bring it to today. I'm representing a different brand in today's turn. I'm representing the kingdom and the kingdom alone. There is no both and. <laughs> See, a lot of us want to mix. A lot of us want to mix the kingdom and. <laughs> Isn't the Lord good that he wants to stand alone? <laughs> Is it? He's so, he's so holy and he's so sovereign. He wants to stand alone. He wants the throne of your heart alone. There is no both and. If you choose to serve him, you're serving him alone. Good. Oh, my gosh. He's that good. I don't want to make this too long. I'm, I'm already too deep. <laughs> but I'm going to leave you with that quote again. That I felt like got put on my spirit. Fit your feelings represent you. What is you? Your fleshly desires. What you think is right. His holiness represents him. And the truth that he is. <laughs> so the question, are you living holy? That 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 question, man, is um is deeper than what it says at face value. Are you living holy is the main question, but I think the next question is, are you sure you're living holy? Let me get out of here. <laughs> I feel like I've uh um because I want y'all to be ready for Wednesday. <laughs> this is just a bonus EP. I don't want to make this EP too long. Um, but I just felt impressed to do this. And uh, I hope that it's touching. Uh, I hope that this message is touching you and it's moved you to live holy. Because it's no longer an ask in um, ever. It's never been an ask, but now it really isn't. Um, and, uh, yeah, I can keep going, but I got to stop. <laughs> I got to stop. I got to get going. Um, let's pray. Uh, and then, um, we'll go from there. Okay. Lord, thank you for who you are. <laughs> You're so good, Lord. After all you've done for us, you still give us choice. I pray, Lord, that you move us all, regardless of where we are. If we haven't even started our walk, if, we're, if we left and we're coming back, <clears throat> or if we've been walking with you for a while, I pray, Lord, that you help us to live holy. To submit what we feel like. To submit that to your truth and your way. Because your way is better. Regardless if you've answered our prayers or not. Regardless if you feel like. We, if we feel like you've left us or not. Remind us Lord that you're still here. And that you're moving even now. Thank you Lord for who you are. I pray this message resonates with the listener who's listening. Call us all Lord. Christian or not. Unto you. It's in your name, Jesus. Amen. Um, yeah. <laughs>
I'm going to go ahead and wrap that up right there. Um, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, and, uh, yeah, the, the next EP is coming Wednesday. Um, get ready for that one. That That's going to be something special. I'm excited to post that and get that moving. Um, but thank you guys, man, for, for tuning in and for listening. Um, appreciate you share this with everybody, you know, um, as we're, we're growing like massively right now on Spotify, Amazon music, Apple podcasts, YouTube music. And of course the video versions on YouTube. And we are, we're, we're, we're growing and people are watching and people are tapping in for sure. I think over the last 30 days, I've gotten like a thousand impressions, um, people clicking on the podcast and people watching and listening. Um, so thank you guys. Uh, and I pray that you guys share and keep watching and keep tapping in, man. So uh, appreciate you guys, man, for tuning in to the clear vision podcast. Uh, it's your boy, Samuel McMillan, man. And we out. See you Wednesday. Peace.